what's up friends happy sunday y'all so i'm coming in with a little story time today just because um we got to church today it's sunday and i'm glad i did because y'all i was already in my flesh i was already in my flesh this week y'all so last we went to the fair right um y'all see me posting and everything and went out there and it was a whole lot of fun and everything but um it seems like the enemy just knew <laughs> knew that um i was gonna probably like pop off if something went down and y'all so tell me why i go in the restroom right and there's like these two chicks and they're like speaking english or whatever and i'm like standing there making line just waiting to like for my turn because there's only two stalls and it seems like one of them's inside and the other one's outside and they're saying like these restrooms are nasty like oh like everything's so disgusting like they don't even want to be touched by nobody like everybody get away from me type of ish right and y'all my stomach started turning <laughs> my flesh started just y'all know when y'all feel like y'all just about to just pop off i'm already playing like three different scenarios in my mind like sh whose head i'm gonna stop against the wall like i'm already mad you know why because okay so now that i'm on this side right and i of course live here i'm a mexican citizen living in mexico i'm gonna tell you something baby if you don't want to come out here you don't have to come out here if you don't like our fairs our restrooms our restaurants our streets our music or anything baby i'm gonna tell you something this time i was able to hold it together and i love god and you know what i'm not on that gangster level no more but there's gonna be somebody there's gonna be uh just a just very patriotic mexican one day out there there's gonna be that deportee there's gonna be that one lady that's probably just gonna be in a bad mood one day and somebody's gonna snap on you you can't visit people's countries and have that attitude and go around with the stank face because that's exactly what it was a huge ass stank face like right so y'all i'm grown now and you know i'm a whole last professional like i have to rem remind myself this like i'm not this ghetto gangster chick that used to love fighting in the restaurants or wherever just to like get a little stress out like i'm not there anymore however i think it's so disrespectful and i was truly like two seconds away from saying hey well you know what baby girl it's okay if you don't come down here we don't need your money like that right our mexican vendors are gonna sell anyways because locals support you know all the local businesses and not just that but those mexican nationals that even if they left to the states and come back and love this country i'm sure that they gladly spend their money out here but we don't we don't need that attitude you know what i mean so just y'all we need to keep it respectful we need to keep it respectful for real like even i speak english fully and i'm gonna tell you something i don't even go i mean and this is not to say that you're not supposed to speak english in mexico i'm not saying that i'm just saying the attitude that people go about it i speak spanish everywhere i go why out of respect that's just the way that i was brought up my mom said every time once you cross that bridge it's nothing but spanish right i know some people don't speak the language so that's completely i mean i'm not saying that you have to speak spanish but it's just the attitude right that just sometimes you're like then you're really just put some respect on it <laughs> all right friends so i'm probably gonna get some unfollows for this but you know i'm just gonna have to agree with this comment because and i know it's gonna probably step on some toes and i'm probably gonna get some fuck yous but it's mutual baby so it's all good so y'all okay sadly yes it's always the people that have the least out in the states the ones that come down and try to make el mexicano feel bad why i don't know i've seen this for so long here in la frontera i live in a border city and it's always the locals that live right across the bridge the ones that have this like attitude um and you can tell easily like as soon as you start speaking english back or they say something about you and you understood what they said i've had experiences like that y'all where they're like like in the restroom type of situation that i was sharing right now with somebody like oh like oh this is just like i'm too good for this type of thing you know what there's plenty of fairs out in texas there's plenty of fairs out in, you know why you don't go to all the fairs probably because you can't afford to drive out there and pay all that so you come and spend your dollars out here which is fine right it's just the attitude if you can't afford to go somewhere else just say that just say you know what girl i'm just sitting here complaining about the restroom that it's so motherfucking stinky or dirty or whatever because it is a fucking fair all right and i'm just gonna sit here and complain because you know what the truth is just say it i don't have any more income tax money left just girl it's okay you can admit it i mean 
you know what? Not everybody has the ins to to go out there and go out there cruising out there in Florida. Go out there, you know, Disney, this and that. Because, I mean, that's probably the places that they're expecting, you know. They're expecting all that. Grand Major, you know. And this is probably only in Olaredo because, y'all, this is a little town, y'all. Um, if you go out to Monterrey, Guadalajara, everybody that lives in Mexico is going to tell me that we have beautiful, wonderful places. Um, so, I really I don't understand the attitude. Um, my mom was always very, like, about us even speaking English out on the street. She used, she used to tell us that that was disrespectful. So I don't speak it unless I have to. So I think it's very unfortunate that, and it's Mexicans, people darker than me, you know, people that of course are Hispanic. And um, I don't know, I just, I don't know why. I think, you know, their parents probably lacked that, um, you know, showing them those good manners and telling them that you can't visit other people's even if they had all this money, which clearly, you know, they don't. So there's an identity issue. There's a insecurity issue. There's a whole lot going on, you know, with these people that come down and say these things. Because like my mom used to say, ¿Por qué no se van a presumir allá? Porque allá todos son ciudadanos y todos tienen feria. Y no todos están colgados del gobierno, ¿verdad? Vienen aquí porque pues aquí la gente se supone que no, que no tiene. Pero aquí la gente vive tan bien. Vive muy bien, o sea, muchos de los que estamos aquí no le pedimos nada a nadie, pueden venir a visitarnos y se van a dar cuenta, si ¿Sí me entiendes, te podemos enseñar, o sea, nuestra vida cotidiana y te vas a dar cuenta que no es muy diferente a la tuya que está en Estados Unidos, entonces no entendemos la actitud, pero bueno, cada quien y su mundo.